The first thing to do if you want to install Insight in your computer is to go to uh, Insight's website. So whatever, to find that website, the, it's not insight.com or anything like that, you need to Google. So you need to write Insight uh, on your uh, uh, browser, Insight with a Z, okay, Insight. And then the first link will be Insight for Data Analysis. If you click on that link, that will take you to Insight's website, and then you will be able to download the software. Uh, there is a Windows installer and a Mac installer, right? Uh, it will automatically detect that I am using a Mac computer. So it will, first of all, it will show me the, the Mac version. So I'm going to click on that and then you, it will let you select a, the operating system. So I'm using El Capitan. So if you click on that, the download will automatically start. And if it doesn't, well, you just click on this link over here and it will start downloading. Now, try to follow the instructions uh, really closely because uh, otherwise, uh, inside is uh, it will not work. Okay, so try to read these instructions. Uh, if you want to read them all, they are all here. There's a link here that will take you to those instructions. So if you follow them closely, you shouldn't have any problem to have inside working in your computer. Very important though, if you are already an R user, it is important that you follow these instructions over here. Because Insight runs, uh, if you are not an R user, you should not worry about these things if you don't have R installed in your computer. But if you are, or if you are an R user like I am, it is important to take a look at these because R, uh, Insight is based on, a, on, an, on an older version of R. So certain things will not work in the software if you don't follow these instructions, okay? Now, to, once you have finished installing Insight, if you are not an R user, what will happen is that Insight will create uh, an icon in your computer. You just double click on that icon and Insight will run. But if you are an R user, uh, I, will, I, I have seen that the latest version of Insight, the icon doesn't really work. You will need to uh, uh, launch Insight, not double clicking on the icon like a, like a, a non-R user will do. A non-R user will just go to the Insight once it is installed, you just need to go to the download folder or your applications folder and just double click on, on the icon and Insight will launch. But in my case, it gives you me an error message. So the way that I have uh, found to launch the software, uh, avoiding this error message over here, is, not, is, not, is to not launch Insight uh, from the uh, from the icon using the inside icon, but to launch it through R. Okay, so this is just for R users. If you are an R user, what works better is the, the is if you launch the R console over here, and then you run this little code after you have followed all these instructions. Okay, you just use this little code down here to run inside. So I'm going to just copy and paste that code, then click a return to run the code and it will automatically uh, launch the Insight uh, application. It will give me a warning message saying that it requires this package over here, uh, RGTK2. You may, you, want to, you may want to install this package beforehand, but I'm not going to use it because the software is already working. So this is the Insight window. This is what uh, non-R users will see if they double click on the Insight uh, icon over here. But if it, that doesn't work, if, that, if you double click here, and the uh, Insight uh, application doesn't work. As I said before, what you can do is to go to the R console, copy and paste this little piece of code over here, run it, and then the, the software will run. So you click on that, run Insight, and uh, the program will, will launch. Uh, this may look like a, like a lot of work to make this simple application work, but believe me, uh, it's really worth it. This is a, it's a great application to get started in uh, data exploration and also in, in data visualization. It's a great, great place to start if you don't want to uh, write any code uh, on your own. It's actually a good, also a good way to, for learning what code can achieve, okay? So we have the software ready. We are ready to get started analyzing and visualizing some data. So let's go.